What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a Gigabyte Bricks ultra compact mini PC and the Bricks have been out for a while. Their whole goal is to create this nice little ultra compact PC, you know, for web browsing or media or whatever you want to do with it. It just makes it super small. Um, you know, so you can get things done. But one thing that's interesting about the one that we're checking out today is that it has a built-in projector. So this is the Gigabyte Bricks Projector um, Ultra Compact PC. So let's just go ahead and check it out. The Bricks Projector comes in this nice box. Of course, it does have a photo of the unit um, on the front and it does let us know that the wireless module is included. Um, on this side, we actually have some specifications. I'm not sure if that's gonna focus, there it goes. Um, but it does let us know that this does come with the Intel Core i3 4010U. So uh, that's the process that's in here. This is sort of like a bare bones type kit and we'll get into why that is in just a second. Um, but the model name for this one is the GB-BXP-I3-4010. Um, of course you guys really don't need to know that. Um, on this side, it just says that this is an ultra compact PC kit. And then on the back, it's actually gonna give you kind of like a full overview of everything and kind of show you um, what the unit is all about and all of the ports and everything. But I know you guys just want me to open this up, so I'm gonna to try to do this. We can get this to come out here. There we go. And as you can see, the first thing that we have is the unit. And this is extremely small. This is the unit right here in my hand. I'll go ahead and take it out. And it does have some plastic on it, so we'll go ahead and take that out and the plastic stuck to my hand here, you can see just how small this is. I mean, I don't have overly large hands and I can you know, hold this in my hand. And what's awesome about this, it has a projector built in as well. Um, we'll go over that in just one second. I wanna open the rest of the box here and see what else we have. So, um, looks like this is a little screw in there. I'm not sure what that's for. We have a uh, starter guide and all of that. We have drivers CD. Um, not sure where they put it on a CD considering well, obviously there's no CD drive. So if you have a USB CD drive, you can use this. Of course, you can just download all the drivers yourself um, on the website. And then we do have our power adapter in here. And the power adapter, just to show you the size, is not that large, but compared to the unit, it is actually, um, you know, this is about half the size of the unit, which is actually pretty interesting. And I believe that is it. Maybe what's in this side? Oh, we do have some other stuff. We have a bunch of cables. So let's get all these out and see what cables we do have. It looks like we have mini HDMI to full size HDMI. We have a tripod, which is interesting because like I said, this is the projector one. So you can put it up on a tripod, um, you know, to lift it up off the ground a little bit to get that better view for the projector. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, and you can use this pretty for anything. You don't have to use it for this. Um, I assume that it uses the same uh, top here. So you can use it on, you know, like a, a camera or anything really. So that's nice to have in there. And then we do just have our power cable as well. Now I'm going to take a look at the unit itself and we'll go, uh, you know, sort of like an overview. So this is the front. Of course, you can see that's where the projector is. And um, we do have audio and then we have two USB 3.0 ports right there. On the side, it looks like that is a fan here for the projector. You know, uh, digital projectors, they do get kind of hot. So um, that's what that is for. And then we're going to go over to the back and that's where you're going to see of course, all of your main connections here. And, and um, I'll start over here and we have two more USB 3.0 ports. We have ethernet. It looks like we have display port and we do have a full size HDMI and that's HDMI out. We have our power connection. Um, we have the projector on and off. Um, and what's interesting about this is that you don't have to use the PC to use the projector. You can use the projector solely by itself. So that's why you have this mini HDMI in um, so you can connect something else, say, 
you know, like a Xbox or something like that, or TV, like, you know, whatever you want to use to use the projector, you can, if it supports HDMI, you can do HDMI in. And of course, we have our lock port right there on the top, which is pretty glossy. We do have our power button, Gigabyte logo. And then on this side, we do have the focus ring here for the actual projector itself. And of course, on the bottom, we have, um, just some feet here and we're actually going to open this up and show you what's inside okay so i've gone ahead and removed the four screws right here i'm um, very easy to do take the screws out and you can actually pull this off with this little thing right here and if we pull this off we can kind of see everything inside now of course our processor and all of that is on the opposite side of this so we can't you know if we really wanted to i could probably open this up completely and see the flip side. But what I just wanted to show you is you do have room for some um, memory in here and this is the laptop style memory. So that, like I said, this is sort of like a bare bones kit because you don't have everything that you need. Um, you don't have the hard drive either. So there is a um, MSATA port right here. You can see that is right on top of the uh, Wi-Fi module. So you have an MSATA port right there so you can install your M MSATA SSD and your memory and you're pretty much good to go. And then when you're done, of course, you can put the top back on and um, close everything up and get the system started. So this has been our quick unboxing and overview of the Gigabyte Bricks projector. Now make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.